From now on we shall begin ethics is a manga, if it wasn't fucking obvious. The main character is this cold ass teacher, except he isn't. The main character is actually this student, and next chapter it's that student. Every chapter is an adventure, narrated by a different person and concentrated on their individual problems. We have shit like ending life, self harm, being obsessed with social media, gender identity, and many more, and all of them end up connected to a philosophical idea at the end of the chapter. The narrative flows so naturally, it doesn't feel shoehorned at all, it feels so fucking great to read, and do you know why? Because it wasn't made from a board of executives, it was made by a single woman with a passion for ethics. Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of the Baka Boys Club. I'm your host, Triple Monkey Mon, joined as always with Grun Hu. And today we're gonna be talking about manga. What manga you might be thinking? Well, we're gonna be talking about From Now On We Begin Ethics by Shiori Amase. It's a story about a teacher of ethics who teaches students about ethics. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So without any further ado, let us uh, reveal our review scores. Um, I'll go first. I thought it was an 8 out of 10. What do you think? What's your score? Well, here's the thing, right? It, it's a great manga, but there's just so many elements that are lacking. It's a 9. It's a 9 out of 10. It's a, very close to a masterpiece. Just a few things. Just a few things. Alright, okay. Alright. It's a masterpiece for you. I'll say, you know, I thought the manga was pretty fucking good. Exceptional, even. Absolutely fantastic. I had a, an amazing time reading it. The reason why I give it an 8 is because mainly it's the art, you know? Like, when I think of a 9 out of 10, I usually think of something like a Berserk, maybe, or a One Punch Man, or a Vagabond, or like, Villain Saga. You know, it's like, holy shit, that's a 9 out of 10, oh my god, you know? I don't really think of like a From Now We Begin Ethics, which is fucking amazing story and stuff, but like, if you just look at the manga, you don't get that same feel, like, holy shit, that's a 9 out of 10. What do you think about that? Is that, is that valid? Is that justified? What do you think? See, here's the thing, fella. Uh, you're thinking with that monkey brain right now, all right? I'm thinking with that big brain, right? The, the important thing that has to be followed here is the story. How, how great are the characters, the structure. It's so impeccable that even the art, I feel like it's kind of elevated by it because it's, it's, the art is attached to this, this great fucking concept, great fucking story. Come on, come on. Who gives a shit about the art, really? <laughs> all right you know what I'll, I, I guess i'll give that to you that the overall the experience of the manga is pretty fucking impeccable there's some shit there's some fucking shit in this manga that is outstandingly well done and i guess and and where it matters like the art isn't okay like i think the way i fucking said that was like oh my god i fucking the art sucks it's like art doesn't suck the art is serviceable if not really you know good at times like when it needs to be good it's really good. Like, it fucking conveys the point amazingly. And it never interferes with the story. Like, I, at no point was I was like, I fuck, that, what the fuck, what is that, what, what is that thing, you know? Like, I was never confused by the art or anything. It always just facilitated the story. You know, if the story is good enough, usually the art just becomes, like, an icing on the top. It's like, oh, if the art is amazing, then fucking amazing. If it's serviceable, then it's fine. I don't really care. And in this case, you know what? Actually, yeah, it was it was serviceable. Like, it, was, it, it, it did its job pretty well. So if I had really like if I had to change my score a bit, I, you know what? I'll, I'll concede. I'll give it. I'll give it to you. You know, it was a, it was an eight point five. Oh my All god! Right? You got it. Oh my. It was, it, was, it was fucking amazing. Sure, fucking. So with that being said, with that with us being on the same level of field, okay. Now that we know we're like the same fucking thing, let's talk about what we like. You know, let's talk about what we like, what we didn't like, and I guess I'll go first. I thought like the most the thing that stands out right from the get go like I read the first chapter I shared notes with you I was like you know what this guy is basically stoic Onizuka I fucking seen this shit I know what's gonna happen he's just a fucking teacher who's gonna be like um so this is how you um, solve your issues I am extremely smart and everybody fucking loves me he's a fucking sigma male kind of a guy and he fucking I read the first chapter and I thought the you know the two people who we see in the first chapter is gonna be the sort of the focal points of the whole manga. I loaded up the next chapter and I was like, fuck, that's totally not the case. It, you know, exceeded my expectations. It did something that I didn't expect, which is that the next chapter was uh, centered around a completely different character. And that just set things in motion. I was like, okay, this is, this is interesting, you know? And that I think, so basically, this manga has a very non-linear structure. It's not really made in a way which is like, oh, we have this one guy and we follow, the, follow him throughout the story. Each chapter is based around different students in the classroom and it fully focuses on that one student and that kind of a structure like allows for so much in-depth analysis of each character that you know 
I found that to be pretty interesting. What do you think? What did you think about the structure of the story, really? I guess? See, here is the the thing about that. I feel like you're underestimating the the magic of the first two chapters. All right. Not only do we get the the oh shit twist in the second chapter that everything is centered around the students, right? Every student, every chapter. Now, thing is, we get that. We get also our main guy, the main teacher, dude. We get him break down that wall, right? For now, we've only seen him being being chill, being cold, being a fucking sigma. But all of a sudden, we see him breaking down and not being sure what to do. Another thing I feel like, you know, you, you might have overlooked here. How fucking shocking the first two chapters were, alright? And, and we're thinking this is just like a high school drama, nobody gives a shit. Dude, there's some heavy shit here. And as you said about the structure earlier, I feel like the variety is really what what pulls this whole shit together all right because you know sometimes we have like people with suicidal issues people that uh, are uh, hurting themselves but other times we just like have people that feel ordinary all right or we have people that uh, don't really feel like they're special or they have the burden of looking at after their grandma for example which isn't like a big deal but but we see that character fucking bawling out in the in the middle of the class having so much emotion it almost feels like they're on equal levels but they're so completely different i feel like i can't st say this enough this is shit's so fucking good all right now another thing and the thing was yeah, yeah. is that i really appreciate the structure because it kind of allowed each character to be developed like so much that it's it's just the non-linear structure, the thing that's so unique about this manga that I've never seen before in any other one, is that the teacher himself is quite, you know, humane. There's things that even he can't solve. And that's one thing that this manga does really well, is that it, it's never prescriptive about the issues that it tackles. It always sort of leaves this open space of like, hey man, we don't know what how to solve this. You know, it's com it's just an open sort of a dialogue. It, it always just starts a dialogue, which is another thing. Like this, this manga is very philosophy-centric. It makes you think a lot about philosophy you know it's about ethics when you think about ethics you got to think about the philosophy you got to think deep about that kind of stuff right and whenever tackling this kind of subject usually most mangas become very fucking you know dry and very highbrow like um so the philosophy introduced by kant in the year 1845 it's like how it's like most people get turned off by that and i often i for one do get turned off by that. it's like i don't want to fucking read that i want to read humane stories i want to see these philosophies in action and this is and this manga does that so well like it introduces the philosophy it's like um so this is the philosophy and it's completely in character as well it doesn't feel out of place for the teacher to be explaining those philosophies because hey he's the fucking teacher who is the ethics he's, he's got he's got to do it dude it's completely in character for him to be explaining those philosophies in fact even the manga plays kind of out of that because uh at almost every class that he teaches the students are always like thinking about something that's not connected to the class at all dude they don't pay attention at all in the most exactly it never feels contrived <laughs> it never feels like oh these characters are like so much interest like you would think that most mangas, like, who just want to f take the easy way out, they're like, the in they would just show the students be actively interested, and they would like kind of, they would sort of contrive the plot to be like the students actively engaged. It 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 it, it takes a very real stance and makes the students like, oh, they, I don't fucking care, you know. But then as the story progresses, you start realizing, like, wait a minute, like their their lives already have those philosophies being played out within them, and they just don't realize it yet. And then as the story ends, you kind of, not only do you get introduced to the philosophy, you get a, like a proper example of that philosophy in action. By the end of it, you get the application of it. You kind of, it's just, it's almost, it's basically just a course on that specific philosophy. And you just get so much out of that, just one chapter. And this is just one chapter. Like one chapter would give you all of that. Would introduce the philosophy, explain it, give you an example, fucking make you connect with the characters. It all, it's just, there's so much. It's such a rich manga you know so i think that's the word it's just such a rich manga so fucking thick all right it's so enjoyable just a chapter yes. by itself and you take that that genius fucking 40 pages and you like multiply that by 20 all right there's so many so many students around this shit and and so many stories being told and the thing is it's not only students and their stories right we have a few chapters that are specifically dedicated to the students interacting with each other we have uh, one chapter that goes into the background of the teacher so we break up the monotony with with these refreshing chapters that take the the whole story in a, in a completely different directions we had a debate uh, we had uh, a few characters that are interacting directly with each other uh, after their arc has already kind of ended uh, for example we can we can look yeah, at it's like the character development actually matters you know it's, it, it, i've seen this so many fucking times in like anime or manga it's like 
they fucking have these huge ass character moments where it's like I learned something you know and, and like five episodes later like, they do the exact same shit they'd be doing in episode one so it's like it nullifies all the character development and this manga is like the complete opposite of that it's like everything that happens every single fucking detail that happens in their life is like plays a role plays a very important role in developing them as a character and by the end of like let's say a volume or two you see all of that in action like the perfect example you just brought up was like of the debate part it was about collectivism and individualism they just basically have there's one team who supports collectivism the other individualism and it they just kind of the points that they bring up are all derived from their respective chapters and it's like holy fuck you're just seeing all of that sort of coalesce all those different chapters in the past just coalesce into this one you know debate part and you just see all of them sort of interact with their philosophies and it's just like everything matters essentially i guess if you just want to like use one cash all term everything in this whole manga matters like all of the development all of the little details that they bring up it matters slogan if you want to attach yourself to that with this manga is that right from the get-go coming back to the chapter one it's like there's one panel where they just so show all the students right they're just sitting and you can just you can kind of tell like each student is like their own thing you know i for one being a stupid motherfucker i was like ah this is fucking he just drew it to like you know for it to look good and i mainly assume that they're just going to be peripheral characters like maybe once in a while they have like a cash line like oh sir what does that mean like you'll have a nerd you'll have a fucking jock or something like that but no like they're all they're in indiv- they're all individual characters that have their own development their own thing you can relate when you just look at them like after like for example three chapters later when you've like experienced um certain characters and now you know their past and you know a lot about them if you even just see them in passing they're always doing something that's always in line with their characters and you're like oh i know that guy you know you have this relatable sense of just like ah, you, you really feel like you know these people you know how, what they would be doing at like a certain hour of the day and it's just such a sentimental manga and it's like it's the perfect thing to associate with philosophy if you have such deep characters and you're also tackling a subject like philosophy these two when combined well make an amazing just any kind of a story right because you're seeing those philosophies actually play out and so anybody for example and um, this is what my ideal scenario is what i'm imagining people who don't like philosophy will fucking still enjoy this because it's such a good slice of life manga honestly this is probably one of my favorite slice of life mangas that i've ever read because it's just it's just really fucking good you know the characters are probably my favorite part of this whole manga if i had to like give if my whole score like most of it is based on how good the characters are and like the interactions between them and everything like that you know it's just really well done it's relatable it's just it has ev- it's it just has so much you know it's so rich Man, every time that the characters like uh, interact with each other it's like having our worlds collide all right it's like uh the mcu making a collab between somebody that's that's so fucking great uh, to a point that actually you kind of forget there are other characters while you're uh, reading the current chapter and next chapter they kind of like interact and you remember oh yeah there are all of these unique dudes are like just talking to each other and going to school it's it's so great it's not only does it show variety but it it shows originality as well which is something that's uh, kind of lacking these days if you ask me exactly it's just it's I feel like everybody can get something out of this. People who are really into philosophy will they really like just having those philosophies be discussed and just they they're obviously going if you like philosophy you're going to fucking love this shit. If you don't like philosophy you're still going to love this cuz it's just a good slice of life manga. You know I I feel like this manga is so underrated. It's just like I feel like this has so much potential to be just such a fucking phenomenon. You know I feel like everybody can just get something out of this. And I feel more I feel like a lot more people need to fucking read this. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I fucking love this. I have just a few highlights now. Uh man, when everybody is freaking out over some dumb shit and our main guy just walks into the room cold as fuck, observing and analyzing the situation and just giving his take, I have like a mad boner for him right there, man. It's it's unbelievable how how fresh he feels as a main character, not going on a bandwagon of just uh, overreacting and full of emotions like everybody else, which serves another purpose of making him versatile and making his moments of like being open and, and having some emotion on screen that much fucking powerful it's it's great last last highlight i fucking love that he and his mentor are just like a couple of buddies that like drink together and smoke together and that's about it that's know? fucking i love that part <laughs> that was so fucking it was just 
it's like even the MC, bro, he's such a good MC, dude. Like, I'm just gonna fucking, like, I can completely see. And like, once this fucking shit blows up, you're gonna see all over Twitter. You're gonna have fucking stan accounts with this fucking guy as their PFPs, dude. Fucking, he is just like that Dill fucking material, dude. Holy fuck, he's a, an amazing MC. I fucking love him. Anything else to add? That's about it. Or we done here? Fucking make yourself do yourself a fucking favor. Read the shit. Please do. We highly recommend it. It is a Backup Boys Club certified manga. We absolutely love it and highly recommend Heard it. Here. And with that being said, we're gonna, we're gonna just conclude this little episode over here. And if you like what you saw, come back again. You know, we're gonna make more of this shit and you're just gonna have plenty of content to, you know, guzzle down your little, little bellies, you know? And it's just gonna be great. We're just gonna hang out, talk about shit, and it's gonna be great. All right? So, like, share, and subscribe. That's just an obligation. I had to fucking say it. I don't know if I need to fucking say it every time but hey you know a job's done you gotta do what you gotta do and i guess we're just done here man i mean let's just like get out of here dude i gotta take a shit i gotta piss i gotta shit you know i gotta do all that stuff man i'm a busy boy all right so thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one all right goodbye